Hi, my name's Wilson Oriyama. I'm an artist and a writer. And today I'm going to sell my first button for Fashion Revolution. So we've got three items today. First, we've got a lovely shirt here. Um, we've got a lovely button, which is going to go onto it shortly. And then we've got the needle and the thread. Take out your thread. We've got a lovely hot pink color here and determine how, how much you actually want to use. So I think somewhere around here is enough and I'm just going to get some scissors. If you have some scissors, preferably you should use them as opposed to some people like to bite, but it just kind of makes things messy for the later part. So here I'm just going to snip with the scissors and that's it for the thread. Sometimes it can be very difficult to actually see the, the thread and the needle. So you may want to hold it up against something of, of a completely contrasting colour. And I'll go in the first try. So I'm just going to make a double thread and then you bring it down to a point where it's half and half. Bring them together and then you tie just a small knot. So this is, involves wrapping your finger around the thread, bringing the knot that you've made over your finger, off your finger and pushing the end bit of thread through the hole, through the knot that you've made, just like that. So you've got a very small but very important knot. So now we're going to put the button right side up and pop it onto the shirt. And from this point, you then get the needle and then you pop the needle through the shirt, through the under part of the shirt, through the top of the shirt and in through the buttonhole, as you see here. So you pull it through, keep pulling through, just keep pulling through, and then you'll be stopped by the knot that we made earlier. So then after doing that, you then want to push it through. So just push it through here, push it back through the t-shirt. And there you go. And then we'll repeat that just a few more times. So once more, through the, t through the shirt, through the button, through the button, I almost caught myself, through the shirt. And then one more time, through the shirt, through the button, through the button through the shirt. We will reach again for our scissors just to cut on the end. You may, you may want to cut for some space so that you can actually tie it together. And you can do that just like this. Just in case uh, you're unsure or feel unsafe with a single knot, you can do a double knot just to secure it much more. And we have a button. This is a very simple way of sewing a button. Uh, if you're looking for more advanced techniques on sewing buttons, or maybe you want to do something like zips, or maybe there's a damage in the details of a favorite piece of your clothing, there's many other tutorials you can watch as a slight button falling off shouldn't be a reason to go and buy a whole new shirt or a whole new coat or whatever it may be. We, we can just take the time to get a needle and a thread and put these back on our clothes and it's also just something fun to do and it's just like can take you somewhere else as opposed to the busy stressful lives we may all live and hopefully will reduce the impact we have on the planet anyway that's been it for me wilson Ariema, on how to sew a simple button for fashion revolution hopefully the next few times will be a lot smoother and we'll see you soon